That being said, I may never find one because that's a very remote region and they could be functionally extinct. However, Colossal is doing something that is frankly, well, colossal. They are working to bring back a thylacine and they're doing that by taking DNA from the thylacine because we have samples in museums around the world and editing the genes with the fat-tailed Dunart, the thylacine's closest living relative, that's only about one one hundredth the size of a thylacine. However, with artificial wombs and this incredible DNA sequencing, Colossal is going to bring back a thylacine. Now, why is that important? Because, while it may not seem like it, Tasmania is broken. The ecosystem there is not the way that it should be without its apex predator, the thylacine. So what you see is major ecological issues in Tasmania, like rampant facial tumor disease in the Tasmanian devils, all kinds of mange in some of the smaller animals like wombats and wallabies. And this is because there is no biocontrol. There is no apex predator to clean up that ecosystem. Now, this is, of course, a very simplified way of looking at it. If and when Colossal is successful, which they will be, they're going to be working with Ozzy Ark to bring thylacine back to Tasmania where they belong, reintroducing them into the wild and repairing the ecosystem. And it's hard for me to even fathom that in my lifetime, one way or another, whether I find it or Colossal beats me to it, I am going to get to see a thylacine.